Hi, welcome. Today we're going to talk about levofed. Levofed, also known as norepinephrine. So we've phased out dopamine now at Albuquerque Ambulance, and we're using just norepinephrine or levofed. So how does levofed work? It has alpha-1 properties, which means it vasoconstricts. It's a vasopressor to bring up the blood pressure. It also has beta-1 properties. Beta-1, one heart, increases inotropic and chronotropic effects. So we can use levofed in our system for bradycardias, cardiogenic shock, post resus LVADs, anaphylaxis, and snake bites. So those are all the different uh, problems that are associated where we can use levofed. We can also use levofed for sepsis. Levofed must be, you must receive a doctor's order from MSEP. Um, before we get the levofed order, you must run one to two liters of fluids, of uh, saline or ringers into the patient. Then we can turn around and con contact MSEP for levofed. So how does it become packaged? Well, this is the exact bag how we see it in the drug box on the trucks. It also says levofed on the back. So let's go ahead and take out the contents. There's also a handy dandy drug cheat sheet in the front of the bag, which tells us how we're gonna mix it and the concentration. We have D5W bag. Obviously we're gonna make sure we have the right IV solution, the right date. It's important to note this is D5W. Uh, manufacturer recommends not to mix levofed directly with normal saline. It can be a D5W and a percentage of normal saline but at minimum um, D5W. We have our 60 drop tubing. We have syringes and needles to draw up the drug. We have alcohol preps. We also have a, a medication card that we should be filling in with levofed with the correct amount of drug that we added to the bag and the time that we started the drip. This will be turned around and placed on the IV bag itself. So that way, um, if somebody needs to turn around and run an IV wide open, they will think twice about using opening this bag. That tells us the correct identification of the medication in the bag. And we have the LevoFed itself. So like it says on the bag and the drug card, that uh, we are gonna turn around and add four milligrams to 250 cc's. So the correct way to work out any concentration is always mass divided by volume. So the mass in this case is four milligrams, and we're gonna add that to the 250 cc bag, okay? Turn around and open up my contents. I've already established the need for the LevoFed, as we mentioned earlier, those various different uh, protocols that we could use it in, and if we are going to be using it for sepsis, we must have MSEP contact first. So my D5W expires July 2015, so we're still good. Make sure it's the right mixture, that there's no floaties, sinkers in there, anything like that. Looks like it hasn't been tampered with. I have my LevoFed here, that turns around and states that it's also July 15th, and the state says four milligrams in four cc's. Now, if we wanted to get really, really picky, we could remove four cc's from the 250 cc bag. That way, when we add this, it would give us a full 250, but because the, the, the number of cc's is slightly off, it's insignificant. So, turn around and get my equipment ready. Have my syringe. my needles and syringe is ready to go. Look at my drug, right drug, right route, right patient, right date. Put my cap. Turn around and prep my vial. Clean my ports. I'm going to turn around and draw out five cc's of air. My port's been cleaned. Place my needle into the rubber bungee. Inflate my five cc's of air. Make 
should automatically fill itself up. Turn around, remove my layer. And I have a total of four cc's. Again, check my drug. Right drug is lever fed, right route, right patient, right concentration, and the expiration date. Turn around and now go ahead and add my drug into the port. Dispose of this needle in my shafts. Agitate the drug. At this point here, I can fill in the drug identification card. It's levofed and it's four milligrams, which is 4,000 micrograms in 250 cc's. Put the correct date on there, my employee number or my service, and put the time and then we're gonna go ahead and start this drip. Okay, so levofed, so we said we mixed four milligrams in 250 cc's of D5W. So we have to figure out the concentration. Two reasons. One, for the Baxter pump setup. The other reason is, if we don't have a Baxter pump, we can turn around and use the clock method. So I mentioned earlier, to find out the concentration, it's always mass divided by volume. So we have four milligrams divided by 250 cc's. We need to change the milligrams to micrograms, so we move the decimal point three points over. So now we have 4,000 micrograms divided by 250 cc's equals something per ml. ML cc's are the same thing. So 4,000 divided by 250 per ml. So if we were to look at our clock, um, I can, yeah, can we move over here? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So here we have our clock, and we are using 60 drip tubing. So whether we're using 10, 12, 15, 20, or 60, in this case we're using 60, 60 has to go to the top. And 60 dropped tubing means 60 drops equals one ml. And we said over here, one ml is 16 mics. So on the inside we have 16 micrograms. 60 on the other side, we break that down into 30. Half of 30 is 15. And remember these are still drops. And then uh, 30 in between 60 is 45. Now we just fill in the appropriate number, the, the math. So half of 60 is 30. That means at 30 drops, they're getting eight micrograms per minute. Over here, we're getting four micrograms per minute. Over here, we're getting 12 micrograms per minute. So when we look at our protocol, as far as it goes on dosage delivery, we're allowed to give, per protocol, four to 10 micrograms per minute. So when you work that out on the board, we're gonna be starting at 15 drops. And when you figure 10 drops over here, okay, between eight and 10, okay, When we figured half of 15, because the difference between 30 and 45 is 15, half of 15 is 7.5, okay? So that means right around over here would be 37.5 drops per minute. And obviously we can't have half a drop a minute, so we could even round up or round down. So that's why you may see on the LevoFed card that's in the package, we're gonna start at 15 drops per minute, and the maximum we can go up to is 37. Now, using an, an infusion pump like the Baxter series pump, it will calculate that for you. Hi, so we're back again, here to talk about levofed or norepinephrine using the Baxter pump. 
We already have our IV tubing and our bag spiked, and the bag is hanging on the IV pole. So then now let's go ahead and get started using the Baxter pump. So we're going to turn the machine on, put in the key to open up the door. We're going to feed our tubing through, through number one, number two, number three and four. Now it's closed. Is this a new patient? Yes. This is Albuquerque Amos using this for Baxter pump. Okay. So here we are, we need to type the first two letters of the drug name or type the first letter and press OK. Well, Levofed is not listed in the Baxter series pump, but it is listed under norepinephrine. So we're going to go ahead and type in norepinephrine. So that's N, O, and it starts to come down. So use the scroll down button to norepinephrine, hit OK. Now, like we said earlier, we need to make sure we know the concentration. We've mixed four milligrams in 250 cc's of D5W, and it came out to 16 micrograms per ml. So we're gonna scroll down, and now we're on 16 micrograms per ml. Okay, confirm, yes. Now this is the antidote drug that's used for norepinephrine. Uh, it's a good idea to take note of this so we can let the receiving facility know. Hit OK. Now under dose we go by standard protocol, 4 to 10 micrograms per minute. We're going to start at 4. And then we hit OK. You'll notice that it jumps down to VTBI volume to be infused. We know there's a 250cc bag but we probably wasted 10 cc's on the floor. So we're gonna go ahead and enter 240. Okay. Volume to be given. At this point here, we're gonna go ahead and remove the top clamp, the key. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit run. Tells us we have a kink in the line. We have one of our clamps open and closed, so now we're going to open that clamp. Check all of our line to make sure it's flowing. The answer is yes. Now we're infusing four micrograms per minute. So now we're going to go ahead and reassess our patient, taking vitals, and if we need to increase the norepinephrine, we're going to go ahead and go to titrate. And we want to go up in increments of two. So four plus two is six. Hit OK. And now it's going to go ahead and start in, um, infusing six micrograms 